The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 112. You got the NASDAQ down three. S&Ps are up two and a half. And it's all about uh, IBM out here today. Quite a day for Big Blue. Big Blue up 13 points. We have the gold contract down four dollars and forty cents, trading at twelve eighty one. You have silver uh, down three cents, seventeen dollars and a penny. Copper flat three nineteen a pound. Light sweet crude up thirty two cents, fifty two twenty. We're gonna have those uh, uh, API numbers out at uh, EIA inventories at ten thirty, right? Ten thirty EIA uh, notes. Ten year note down eleven ticks, one twenty five oh two. Thirty year bond off a full point plus seven ticks, one fifty two twenty six. You have the king dollar up 140 ticks, 93.490. Now, the king dollar looks like it's going to fail on price and volume. Uh, tested its high from yesterday and has, so far, has, has given it up. Euro's at uh, 117 and a half to the U.S. dollar. The yen is trading at 112, almost uh, 113 to the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, bottom line, uh, we got uh, higher price. New high in the Dow? What are we already at? 23,100, I'm sure, right? It's pretty amazing, man. So take a look at it. And folks, if you haven't uh, test drove the uh, Nadex platform yet, come over to our website, at TFNN. You can hit that banner, bring up the exchange. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can walk along with us as we trade the defined option contracts. Now, if we get into uh, <laughs> the Dow Industrials, look at that number, man. IBM's just marching higher, man, putting 90 points in there. That's a big one. Yep. IBM's putting 90 positive points. Goldman, 31. United Health, 10. Taken away from it. Boeing, 8 negative. McDonald's, 7 negative. Chevron, 5. It's intriguing that, uh, well, hey, let's go to Big Blue first. Sure. Well, actually, uh, this is a... So they think that Big Blue's going to get turned around. That's quite a gap higher, huh? Well, they guided their forecast, right, which was the yeah. big thing. They're looking for... Increased revenue next quarter would be the first time, I think, in like 22 quarters, almost five years, that they'd show increased revenue if they exactly. came to fruition. But, and they also, we were talking about Watson yesterday, right? Yeah. Man, Kevin Hinks, and they showed that cognitive solutions department up something like 3.7% right. year over year. And, and that's an area where if they start to show some growth, maybe that's a future revenue, you know, that's, that's a, a nice area to show some growth. In. And that's the future of IBM. Exactly. There's no doubt. So let's take a look, you know, IBM... Has been you know down from I think two eighteen, two fifteen, uh, that was the high in twenty thirteen. Now you're coming right into the basically one of the second uh, third down drafts, October of twenty fourteen. See the low of that is one sixty one ten. So it's going to be really intriguing how we come up to this, folks. Okay. Because on a weekly, what you well this is on a monthly actually, you'd be looking for one hundred forty six uh, million shares, but uh, it, it's got to start. That's the bottom line. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. Um, ESRX is up by 2.2%. Now, that's interesting because... Yeah, they were down pre-market, I believe. Yeah, and this is the one, I think, what's happening. Yep, Someone it, dumped it them, right? Is, yep. Yeah. I think it's Anthem, right? Yeah, yeah. Anthem breaks the Express Scripts, starting its own drug plan. And then they're also at the same, they signed with CVS, I believe, that at the end of this contract... Yeah, so just stay here. Anthem said it also secured a five-year agreement with CVS... Wow. Express Scripts' biggest competitor that goes into effect after its current contract with Express Scripts. So they're doing their own thing and they're partnering with competitors of them. Yeah. And Express Scripts goes up. Pretty remarkable. So <laughs> that is, man. There must be more in there, obviously, as in those two headliners would not cause that stock to jump 2.3% unless there was something where maybe they're going to kind of repackage what they do. And, and oh, there's, cla knows, there's right? clarity what's going to happen, I guess, That's right? Maybe yeah. something. Uh, taken away from the uh, NDX 100, and I, right now you get uh, Shire Pharmaceutical down 3%. Uh, let's see, uh, Electronic Arts off 2.8. It, Norwegian Cruise Lines down 2. Isn't it funny? Norwegian always jumps up here on one side or the other. Sure. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA down 2% off 4 bucks. Let's see what's happening with the NVIDIA. This is, so they're coming out with the numbers. 
November 9th. Your birthday. My birthday. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it doesn't say there's not much happening here. Yeah. Um, we get over uh, to the gold contract. So let's take a look at gold. So what you have out here this morning, folks, uh, inside this contract, we got down to 1278. You're at 1282.40 right now. Um, yesterday, we came down with 342,000 contracts. Now, that was coming into 317,000. Okay, so you had more than that. What I really liked about this is that you weren't, you didn't get to the swing point yet. And I always like it when you get some volume before the swing point. The reason being is just like working out. What ends up happening is that, you know, if you're, you know, all those big rip marathon runners, you got to make it to the end. Sure. And so this morning, you can see that the high of the low has 374,000 contract. Well, that high is 1279.20. Okay. So, if we go over to the Nadex platform, what you're going to see, let's bring this up. Uh, you can, okay, you can stay right in there. Okay. The, yeah, Just hit cancel. Okay. Well, then go to the finder. Okay. Right. Where are we going? Yeah. What are you pulling up? Um, the gold contract. Okay. Because I, I bought some contracts this morning. Oh, okay. Did you want to log into yours? Is that yeah, what we you're can doing? do that. Yeah. Okay. We um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. So, let's see. Because the risk versus reward was pretty cool here this morning. And they're not always like this, but. Okay. So. Pull it back over. Yeah. So when we take a look at this, um, you had, so we, you got to remember something, folks, that the gold contract, I mean, it trades almost 24 hours a day, but the pit opens at 20 past uh, 8 Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And so. You want to be cognizant of that area, you know. The reason being is that that's when big, if you're a big operator, most times if they're going to, you're going to jam it up or jam it down, that's when you're going to kind of do it. Okay. You know what I mean? So here's 820 on the chart right here this morning, where it looks like we're trading just about 1279, a hair above. Right. And I was just watching that contract, <laughs> um, and I gave it like about a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like 821, exactly. Yeah. Somewhere in there. So that could be, yeah. And what I was looking for is just as I brought up the first time, that I was looking for a test of that area. Okay. And the risk versus the reward was pretty cool. I mean, yeah. I, I, pay, I paid up for it. I yeah. paid... Uh, so this is where my cursor is right yeah. now. So this is the 820 bar. So you got into the trade about one minute into this bar. So give or take, you can see maybe it was trading at 1279.50, 1279.25. It was. It was contract. under the 1280. Yep. Definitely, yep. And, um, and, and you're I paid getting about 1281, I 1282. think. 1282. 1282, okay. So 1280 to 1320, $40 spread. Yeah. So it's going to be a $400 kind of pie. You have five contracts in there, but per a contract, you'd be tra paying $20. Right. And, um, you know, of that, though, <clears throat> it's all going to be premium with a little bit of extra in there in terms of your break-even to put things in context, is going to be right at this bar where the cursor is 1282. Right. So you can see that, you know, and you got to run to 1285, which is pretty remarkable by the market open, pulling back a little bit, and you have till the end of the closing of the futures, which is 130. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Low risk. See that 1285 is in the car on the way. And I brought up the binaries this time, too. Okay, nice. And it was uh, for the 1282. We can go over that. Okay. Well, actually, we're going to uh, also, we get oils, right? We, we do. Get, we get oil. We get our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks, coming up next, folks. You stay right there. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Tell me, i got to be right back, folks. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. 
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 109. You got the Nasdaq uh, down five. S and P's are up a buck and a half. Uh, let's go uh, inside. Uh, so let's see. What is the, uh, let's go look at the IBB. So I'm trying to figure out what's bringing that Nasdaq down. So the IBB. That's not it. That's only down 60 cents. You got Google, flat, Amazon. One more time. Amazon's down three. That's flat, oh, Microsoft. right? Microsoft. Yeah, MSFT. Yeah, now about Netflix. We'll see if they're... Nope, so it's going to yeah. be something besides that. SMHs. Let's, yeah, exactly. Or just spread out, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the SMHs are finally selling off. NVD is selling off. Yeah, 90 cents. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm telling you. Hey, we'll see where it shakes hey, out. It is down a decent amount. Yeah, yes. I mean, you, you got uh, NVDA. Oh, we got to get over and look at the oil stocks. I mean, yeah. The, uh, yeah. I mean, that's decent. That's, that's you know, percent and a half. <clears throat> that's a decent move. Uh, miracles. It's a miracle. It's red. <laughs> Last night, coming into the close, Tom, they did it. They. It's just amazing. You know, they did it. To meaning they got the NASDAQ green and the S&P's <coughs> green. The S&P's okay. are green by 0.75 of one. Okay. And the NASDAQ was like up two. Okay, so we'll jump in here. Commodity spreads, crude oil. Let's start off with the 11 AMs. Yeah. Right now, <clears throat> excuse me, we're looking at the December contract. We'll call it 5250. And these are going to line up pretty re relatively well at about 5250. We'll pull up the chart first. So last night we had the APIs. There was a drawdown of what was it, seven, seven point two. something, yeah, seven point one maybe in the, the yeah. expected, or we have right here. Here we go, seven point one three, and they were looking for three point nine. Um, so we'll see how these shake out. But right now, fifty two fifty, and let's take a look at what kind of premiums they have in here. So these are the eleven AMs expire in about forty minutes from right now. Here's going to be your bullish position, buying it. And it's only a penny out, so these will line up pretty well if you want to do it, where you're no, paying no intrinsic value. You know, it's all extrinsic value. It's all just premium you're paying. And it's going to be about $15 on each side. 
$30, $30, call it, and as this jumps around. So $30, you'd be looking for 30 cents of movement from away bad. from 50 to 50. Yeah. So now let's jump into the 12 o'clocks. Similar action. <clears throat> Here's our bullish one. So instead of 15 cents, you're going to be paying 19 cents, right? And it's going to yeah. probably be the same on the downside. Let's check it out, though. Here it is. So there's a good comparison. So now you're looking at instead of 30, you're looking at 37, right? Yep. So for seven cents for an hour. Yep. For yep for 12 o'clock. And then let's just jump the final. So here we have, if you want the 230s, now these are going to be three dollar spreads. Here's your bullish position. So not bad when you look at you're paying for the extra two and a half hours from 12 till 230. Yeah. You're 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 paying almost a Whoops, almost a penny or two on one side, and the same thing's gonna happen on the downside. That is really cool. So you're looking at 42 versus 37. Now what's you're you're not only gaining two and a half hours, you're also gaining three dollars of profit potential if you happen to get some kind of crazy move more than a dollar and a half for the day. And th and that's why folks, Tommy and I, we talk about bring up this platform and get used to it, because that Definitely. is a really sweet deal. Definitely. Meaning, well, oh, yeah. it, just to be yeah. aware that if you were going right. to make that trade, that might be the trade you want to make. If you were going to go to the noons, why wouldn't you go to 230 and, exactly. and get, you know, instead of paying $37 for both sides, you're paying 41 Right. and you have two and a half extra hours That's huge. and you have the $3. Now right. I just jumped into the full daily spreads, which are the $5 ones and those don't line up identically, they line up for 52. But that's where you can really learn a lot as to how much they're charging you because when you can isolate one variable, right. which is the price, because the floor and the ceiling are staying the same, yes. the only thing that's changing is the time yeah. for between 11 and 12, and then between 12 and 2.30s, you're also adding a little bit of um, greater distance in your spreads. Which but in reality, what happens is they don't charge a lot of premium. The market, I say, you know, they, right, the market doesn't right. charge a lot of premium because in realistic nature, gold, uh, excuse me, oil doesn't usually move more than $1.50 during that time. But guess what? We know it's po possible. Right. And if you're not going to really be charged for it, why wouldn't you take that opportunity? Exactly. Um, and being charged only four pennies for that two and a half hours in itself is pretty cool. I agree, especially with yeah. the kind of action we've been getting with, you know, oil. I mean, look at this type of price movement, right? right. This is only going back to... Tuesday, yesterday. I mean, you're talking about from 10:30 in the morning, we go down almost a full dollar, and we come back a full dollar. Um, that's some volatility, for it sure. It is. So let's get over it and we'll take a look at that. So let me just. This is going to be a delayed quote, but I just want to see how this is shaking out. See, my my take was that even last night, I wanted I wanted to see that this 53.11 get hit, which is the high of the 28. The reason being is that how this traded yesterday. Look at that. It was pushing a swing point with volume. Sure. So my take is that this thing w does want to get into, you know, that that high, 53.11. Okay. Which would be quite a bit from Definitely. where we are. That'd be huge, yeah. 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 Um, so we'll see where that uh, shakes out uh, when, the, when that number comes out. Uh, if we bring that from there to the XLE, and the reason I'm watching this so closely, it looks to me that the XLE is kind of topped out again. Um, but I wouldn't go shot this sector until I saw that failure in the oil market, you know? Yeah. Because, because of the way that we're pushing in there with volume, because when you're pushing into a swing with volume, your probability is you're going to go higher, you know? Uh, and oil's case, which is pretty cool, is that it's been in this range, and I think it has a couple dollars higher. Let me do this. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do a continuous contract. I think it's 55. That Yeah, it's 55 up there. Okay. That's so all the way from January. It is. So what I'm thinking is that if it spikes that, meaning the high that was established the week of the 29th, you know, it likes to go up here, and, you know, there's a lot of resistance here. Okay. Someone's been selling that up here for quite a while. Yeah. So... Um, we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. Uh, one of the tigers want to look at PPLT. Now, PPLT is the um, ETF for the platinum shares. Uh, this is trading at 88.27. And yeah, it looks like it's going to fill the gap at 87.79. You're at, uh, you've hit 88.23 today. Let me just, 
actually pull up the platinum contract. So the October contract is trading 930. That's kind of weird, huh? That doesn't make any sense. This is saying there's only one contract. That might not be the active contract. Yeah. But these are the October 17th. PL, let's see. Platinum, October. Platinum. Platinum active. There you go, January. There we go. Okay. That's down 830. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is pretty cool. I like what it's going into. I mean, we're at 926. It's going into a strength of uh, the 10th. I'd let it get into that a little bit more. Looks like it's going to basically go into the bottom of that, which is uh, 918, but that's a good setup. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 101. NASDAQ's down three. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. We're going to be right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil inventories. There's that number, 5.73 million barrels is a decline. And they were looking for, I saw headlines jumping up there, Bloomberg survey saying maybe a decline of about 3.5 million. Okay. 
So that should give a little bit of a bid to the price of crude. We'll jump over there in a second. But crude oil inventory is falling 5.73. Gas inventory is rising 908,000. And let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on what it's doing. Oh, not reacting like it may have anticipated. Check that out. So 5.7 was the decline. Yeah. I saw the Bloomberg survey saying 3.5, and the price of oil goes down. Pretty remarkable. Um, we went from 52.50. Yeah, we shot down to almost 52.20. Right. Yeah. And we're bouncing back a little bit. We'll see where that shakes out. Now this is where the you know that the one for the end of the day could be pretty cool because now the volatility's in in this market. Yeah. Um, that's, definitely. That's a good move. Was that's a. 30 cent move almost, right? Yeah, it shot 30. down initially, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we were right at 52.50 as we were setting up that trade. All right. And within, you know, a split second, by the time we even got back here, it had spiked to 52.20 and back up to 52.40. And let's even jump back. Which one were we on? I think we're on two, right? Yeah, there we are. So, okay, not too much more news. Here we go. Okay. So, yeah, the median estimate was 3.25, um, and it came in at minus 5.7. That should give the price of bid, so it's remarkable that it just kind of tanked right down initially. Yeah. Cushing crude up 202,000 barrels. Pad 3 crude down 8.9 million barrels. Um, gas pretty much in line, coming in at 900,000. Whoop, slide down. 900,000 versus an estimate of about a million. Pad 3 gas declining a million. Distillates up 500K versus an estimate of decline about 1.4. Um, yeah, and then refineries, so U.S. fuel demand falling 1.6% in the past four weeks. I wonder if how summer plays into that, right? We're yeah. out of the summer travel. Um, yeah, we'll see where it shakes out, but quite a quite an interesting first move out of the gates as it kind of rebounds, yeah. but, and making that way higher. And maybe maybe the move is higher. You know, with, with API coming in at 7.1 for a draw, maybe a number of 5.7 kind of soothed the market a bit, even though the estimate was 3.2. Right. You know, maybe they right. were fearing that it would come in at seven, eight, nine million dollar, uh, excuse yeah, me, barrel barrels, draw. Yeah, barrels, right? Yeah, exactly. Let me put a different one up here so I can still follow that one. Uh, so uh, let's go over and we take a look at the uh, XLE. I'm just curious what the XLE did on that. So actually it didn't do much, you know? Yeah, pop, similar pop spike down, down for and a second, yeah. Pull back, yeah. Because we're pretty much back to where the price was, so it should, XLE should be flat, right, if the price of crude hasn't reacted, yeah. and even though it reacted initially, it's right back to that 52.50 yeah. price point. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, dollar index. So the dollar index right now, folks, okay, this is going to get really um, crucial as to uh, it, are you going to have another failure. Uh, so when we take a look at this, you know, the, the dollar since January 3rd has been one way down. We were at 103 January 3rd. You're at 93 now. Uh, August 16th, that's what it was trying to test, and it did finally test it. Now, we're looking at a different contract, but when it tested it, it tested it on the 6th of October, and it did have lighter volume. Uh, what I'm really watching really close right now is this. Yesterday, you got 16,000 contracts. Now, that's really light volume because you're going into 26,000. And it looks like the market is not going to be able to hold yesterday's high. And if that's the case, that is saying that you know, and this was another reason I was going long gold. If that's the case, it's like, okay, this might be a small ABC down. That'll just get it to the bottom of, you know, what we've been in. Sure. That's on the sh shorter term. On the larger term, it very well could be a large ABC down to okay. 88, which is going to be pretty wild. Um, that would be. It, and it's like, okay, so what's, what's laying out there uh, if the dollar wants to go to 88? That would be saying that Europe, the euro, you know, bottom line looks like it wants to take off again. And you can see if we're looking at the euro, we're at 117 point, well, 1.7. Yeah, 117.73. Yeah, to the U.S. dollar. And this does look like it wants to go up to the top again of 120. And if it wants to break the 120 and go higher, it's like, okay, that's going to be the pressure uh, going against uh, the dollar. Let's go take a look at uh, some of the higher volume stocks. Now, yesterday, the volume was anemic in the market yesterday. Well, okay. It's been anemic for a while, but yesterday was really bad. Um, today out here, you have uh, Advanced Micros down 28 cents. IBM is the big mover, up 13 bucks. IBM must be elated. I mean, they, they haven't had a move like that. There it is, since 2009. There you go. Um, we'll have to pull this up. Spectrum Pharmaceutical, uh, Spectrum, that must be a biotech. That's up. Uh, well, that could just have to do with the Express Scripts 
Oh, is that? Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, the pharmaceuticals. I, I don't know. You know, there's, there's a lot of. On ecology. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, so this is on some phase two okay, drug. Okay, so they are, yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, that, that is a rocket ship. So $3.21 it was November of 2016. Now you're at 20 bucks. The, okay, so we get Ford flat, GE flat, U.S. Steel up 89 cents. NVIDIA is down 3.30. Inside the Dow, some of the bigger movers out here. Exxon's flat. Caterpillar is up 81. It's all about GE today, boy. IBM? I mean, IBM. Sure. IBM. There's no news. That's, that's the big number out here. Twelve and a half, well, thirteen yeah. bucks. Let's go over and we'll take a look at the uh, GDX, uh, GDX. So the GDX yesterday, folks, uh, rejected lower price, and this is after gold was down good. Um, had lighter volume, uh, so the real key is going to be out here today. It's, it's still acting pretty good for gold getting you know smoked down here. Sure. Yeah, we came down yesterday with thirty-two million shares. The prior day you had forty-seven, and you're going into fifty. So, uh, silver, let's go back into the silver market and take a look at silver. Silver. 1702. And silver, let's see. So, we've got the 1692 in the silver market. Low of yesterday, 1698. This would be pretty good. You know, now, now silver, did it hit 1689? Not yet. So the 1689 is the high of how I come off the low on, December, on the October 6th level. That's, that's some good volume, 105,000 contracts. Yesterday we did 89. We probably could do that many today. But, you know, thus far, it's saying it doesn't want lower price. Bitcoin. Do Bitcoin. Sure. Where are we at? <laughs> 57 and chains? I think so. I think it's 57 and chains. No, look no. at that decline. 5,200. Oh. What happened to poor Bitcoin? <laughs> so uh, 58.66 was the high last week. You're at 51.98. Yeah. Probably game is 49, top of the breakout. Sure, we're not far from there in the land of Bitcoin. So it's just amazing that how that whole deal works, isn't it? You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now up 115. You get the NASDAQ flat. S&Ps are up a buck and a half. Gold's down $3.10. Bonds, 10-year note, down 10. 30 a bond off a full point plus two ticks. And King Doll's giving it up as we talk. Right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. 
With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, oil. What are we doing with oil? Let's check back in, see how it's doing. Yeah, so quite a little drop for a decline of more than they thought. And um, be interesting to see if we ever could get a surplus and see what happened, right? Yeah. The other way, a surprise. Exactly. Um, but yeah, trading right now at 52.15, so down about 35 cents since we were trading 52.50 right prior to that news. Um, and was it 41 cents the, for the uh, 2.30 in the was afternoon? 41 for the 2.30. Right. The, the, the prices when it was going to be 30 cents or $30 for the 11 a.m.s. Yeah. It was going to be $37 or 38 for the noons, and it was going to be about 41 or 42 for the 2.30s. So that's looking like a pretty good trade right now. Yeah, although we'll see, right? Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no especially, doubt about that. Especially just because it's moving in the opposite direction that you would think from the news, and sometimes when that's the case, it might yeah. re reverberate back to, you know, I mean... Less oil in the market, talking about millions of barrels, less less supply, Yeah, price should be going up for that price to equal, you know, supply equals demand is where the price is set. And if there's less supply, that means the price is going to have to be higher. Um, but you know what? There's demand statistics in those news events as well. Let's just pull back over and see if we had anything because, you know, that's the top line number is not always the news marking event. Um, huge cuts to crude production last week at 8.4 million barrels a day. So you got Nate related closures, some storm action pushing in there. Um, let's see. This hit to refining utilization is not what the market needs right now. Crude runs fell in all regions of the U.S. Last, last week, while Hurricane Nate shut a lot of crude oil output. Only two Gulf Coast refineries were offline during the event. Overall utilization was down 4.7 um, to 84.5 percent below the five-year seasonal low so you know there's a lot that comes into these numbers yeah because that's almost saying that hey you had the utilization down and we still got plenty of everything yeah meaning the gas isn't that intriguing isn't yeah. it yeah. yeah 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 so here are all the headlines with yeah production cut to 8.4 million barrels a day the exports rebounded near records record-setting number we're exporting a lot of oil we've talked about that in previous weeks some of those numbers coming out but yeah, bottom line is inventory's fallen 5.7, and they were looking for like 3.5, and the price is plummeting. Check back in one more time before we, just because it jumps around. Yeah, so fit about 52.20. We'll see where that shakes out. 877-927-6648, and the uh, market-wise out here, let's see, we're up uh, a buck, <laughs> here it goes, 124 on the Dow. Uh, NASDAQ just went positive. That's up uh, two. Uh, S&P's uh, up 250. Um, gold, uh, let's see, it looks like uh, I got to get a test of uh, that 
hopefully the 75, I mean 85 level. Okay. Because we got the spike up there. Sure. And, you know, that would be a high volume, it's a high volume spike for sure. 9,500 contracts. We'll see whether it can get up there because that'll make a big difference on my position, that's for sure. Definitely. Right now, it's trading at 1283.30. Yeah. Right? And so, you have anything in value over 1280. Close right. down some of these. Open up open positions. And then we'll pull that open, pull the chart open at the same time. Just to see where it's trading at right now. Come on, there we go. Yeah, yeah. so right now, you know, price of oil, 1283.40, and the market trading just a bit above that with a little premium in there. Isn't that pretty interesting? I mean, that you're, you're, you know, what I mean by that, folks, is this, is that. The, the spread is 1280 to 1320. You know, we have to 130. Um, and, yeah. Yeah. you know, you, you're really close to that spread. You are. And, you know, part of the reason why is because the market's pricing in, bless you, that right now it's at 1283.16. If you were going to buy this contract, the, the market would let you buy it for 1283.50. So you're paying about 40 cents premium. And because, you know, a, a $4 risk in the price of gold with about two to three and a half hours left is is a decent amount of risk um yeah as in they don't get expect, zero well yeah and that the market isn't expecting a ten dollar move in price of gold by 130. yeah so you still have risk that you're putting in there three dollars of intrinsic value you know that you have in there and that's, that's right. a decent amount of risk because realistically the market's saying that most of the time it's not gonna your your risk is equal to your reward somewhat yeah pretty close right that's how they're trying to do it. That's, that's, that's how what, market maker would do it, right? Well, yeah, that's how the, the market in general, right, right, you know, is pricing it. Yeah. But I agree. If you're looking for a big move and you're correct, then that's not a lot to, play, to pay for that type of action. No. With the, you know, getting some action ahead of time, right? Right. And yeah. I guess with the action that, you know, like when I look at this now, if I wasn't in, I, I kind of like this position because I feel like I took more risk down here being out of the money than being in the money well, particularly with, I didn't, you know, we have, a, we have a high volume spike now intraday, so. There's two ways to look at it. As the case you already stated, though, is that, you know, you got in ahead of the pit open, basically. You right. know, and it's not a coincidence. No, right when it opened. Right. Yeah. I'm just saying I it's not a coincidence that from 8.20 it started to move heavily, and that's why, you know, versus getting in at 11 o'clock, the move might be over. That's all I'm stating. Oh, just yeah. So, you know, I, that's, that's... Okay, cool. I get it. For yeah. sure. That's, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, sure. right, right, um, right. For sure. Just right. like anybody trades the, the opening of the, the you know, index, index futures. Right. Um, they feel like that they have a range now, too. I got it. Yeah, because sure. that would be the range. The range for would sure. be the top right for now. Sure. And uh, actually, look at that. If you did it, the range, I got it. The range at the top is 85, and the range at the bottom is 79 Pretty right close, now. right? Yeah. Pretty close, right? Pretty close. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go. Uh, let me see how how much further they can get this dial going up, baby. Let's new see. highs every day. Oh, there we go. See, they're, they're jamming. I think it we're now. at a new high. Can you go into oh, the yeah. dial? Because I think that might be the Forget high. Forget the twenty three thousand. It might this be added as we speak. Twenty three thousand one thirty three. Yeah. So Just, pretty much, we're so, making new highs as we speak. Yeah. We're we're. Uh, Point and a half away from it, and which means we're basically just jumping around right at the highs. And let's see, IBM nine percent, yep. Goldman Sachs too. Check Goldman that out. Goldman Sachs, that's is a big a, move. Yep. Uh, IBM's putting ninety-one positive points. Goldman twenty-five. United Health seventeen. United Health had a big day that's yesterday, and they're continuing. Yeah. yeah. Let's look at this. This is that thing just took off like a rocket ship. It's not stopping. That took no prisoners. Yep. I mean, boy, when you look at that chart, right? Totally. Fourteen dollars and twenty oh eight. You know, it's wild. Is that twenty oh eight is a long time ago, but time is crazy, man. And and it's it does a... it does feel like a long time ago, but I remember it so well sure. that you know it's like, jeez, time is crazy. Yeah, it is. Time is crazy. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's get over and we take a look at that dollar again, because I suspect what we're going to get out here today, folks, is we're going to get a, a failure in this U.S. dollar, which will move the metals. Um, you know, so thus far it saved itself from it. It just spiked down to 93,260. 
Um, and hit some volume though. That's the same once we back down there. So 93, 390. Got back above that, but this looks to me like we got 93, 260 on the agenda out here. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 136. NASDAQ's up three. S&Ps are up three. Gold's down 340. Silver is off three cents. We're gonna be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim is now at 11 a.m. Followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 135. Nasdaq's up three. S&Ps are up 250. Let's go. Can we go to the Nadex platform? I want to look at this gold contract. So I have five contracts right now, right? Yes. And I only put up 100 bucks, 20 bucks a contract. So, you know, we spiked to the 1285. So yeah. what I actually want to do, what happens, folks, is that the gold market likes to spike in general. So what I want to do here is I'm going to put a sell in for one contract just in case, you know, between, I see if I get a spike. How that, much are you looking to get back? Well, uh, what I'm looking to get back is my $100. <laughs> okay, you're going to need to do more than one contract. Well, depending on where you want to go. Well, if I'm you want all your money back for one contract, you need to go to 1290 Do you understand that? Yeah, that's too much. Then. Exactly, okay. that's, that's why I was saying. <laughs> okay, so if I did two contracts, at twelve eighty five, we'll get you back your investment. Yeah, I think it will go there. I think it will go a little bit over that though. 
So 1285. So let's do you tell two, me. That's two, con two contracts I get to 128750 around there. Because what happens is that the, if it spikes it, most times it will spike it over it and just give it up quick. That's my that's my point okay. of just having it out there. Sure. So you want to put that in, sell two contracts, yes. 128750. Yeah. And this is where you can see that that's, you know, it says max profit. That's what you'd be recouping for those two contracts. Right. We'll place the order and then we'll pull back up um, the chart and you're going to see your order right in there for your two contracts. And there you are right there right. as the active offer. If it hits up there, yeah. Yeah. Can't so, hurt. No, exactly. Because then I'd have three contracts for free plus $50 profit minus the commission on the trade. Definitely. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, swim lessons coming up next. Of course, then we're going to uh, uh, Newton, Massachusetts. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself. It's Wednesday. It's a beautiful thing. It is. It's Prince Spaghetti Day. That's right. Go get them, folks. Thanks, pal. Thanks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.